There's a feud between Ric Flair and Bischoff, which really began on September 14th behind the scenes. It started well before that. But Flair returned that night to reform the Horsemen. The Horsemen, of course, were feud with the NWO. And then, really, the main feud became Flair and Bischoff, which is very, very interesting. You know, obviously, we got the giant DDP mixed in there, too. But Flair and uh, Bischoff, I mean, this was real, right? I mean, F Flair said, I'm going to go watch my kid do a wrestling tournament. He right. said, no, you're not. He just did it. Bischoff basically tried to fire him. Flair comes back and says, fire me. I'm already fired. One of the greatest promos ever. One of the greatest pops ever. Sep September 14th, 1998, Nitro. Awesome from South Carolina. Awesome. Um, but they really didn't like each other, right? No, they were at that time at each other's throats. And I understood both sides. Uh, now, as time has gone on, if it was the other way around, I'm sure Eric would have went to his kids because they're both big family guys. So, you know, it's hard to tell Ric Flair, you're not going to go. But in your job, you're expecting guys to give up everything. The problem was when he gave other guys days off. Hmm. Yep. And that's not a knock to anybody, but you gotta. I know that nothing's fair in life, but that's a hard one for Rick to swallow. And it's hard for Eric to swallow him saying he's not going. So I can, I, I don't. Uh, agree with either one of them. I think that there was so much tension there. They could have worked it out. In fact, couldn't they have had a jet for Rick to fly him back to the show? Do you know what I'm saying? A thousand percent, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know the kid ain't going to be wrestling at 10 o'clock at night. So couldn't they have flown Rick in and could we have uh, changed it to be early and maybe give it an extra pop and then flown Rick out of there? I think that, you know, most of the times arguments continue and elevate because there's no communication. Everybody wants to win on an argument. That's what's wrong with this country right now. Everybody's right. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to the other side. And, uh, you know, it can't be your way all the time. Eric Bischoff defeats Rick Flair in about seven minutes. Of course, Kurt Hennig helped him here. He handed Bischoff a weapon. Bischoff nailed Flair with it and pinned him to win the match. What do you think here? Bischoff, not a wrestler, going over the greatest of all time. I know this is a great feud, and it's real, and the crowd is really into this. And Flair, for whatever reason, is really selling for Bischoff. I mean, he's trying to make him look good. He's bleeding. I mean, he's doing everything he can. But, wow, this is a shocking conclusion here because, you know, the GOAT is losing to a non-wrestler. Usually, I'd say this isn't the way to go, but on this one, Eric had so much heat. And I think that Rick would have balked if he didn't realize how much heat Eric had. I think it was the right thing to do. And it had nothing to do with ego on Eric's part. It was the right thing to do. Man, the amount of heat he got, he may have been the biggest heel in the company at this point. I mean, he was vilely, vilely hated. I mean, he's just a pure heel. It was nuts. And don't you think that Vince copied Eric? Yes, I've I've always thought that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. People always go back to when McMahon was doing McMemphis. Remember he was doing a heel in ninety four ish, yeah. doing yeah. that. But I I don't know on the national scale. But I mean he, he, you know, he was doing the Bischoff character. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't have any qualms about Eric going over because he had so much heat. Did Flair have any problem with Bischoff going uh, over? Obviously not. For Rick getting all that juice. 
Very, it's very interesting though. Like they hate each other, but Flair, obviously the super professional that he is, is like, yeah, it's good business. I'll put the guy over. You know what I mean? And like, right. pretty crazy. Right. Well, that's how people that love the business and understand what the right thing to do at the right time is. And the next night on Nitro, they'll have a rematch. Flair cuts this awesome promo, strips naked in the ring, basically. You know, typical Flair. He's going nuts, saying he's putting, he'll put his career on the line, whatever. He wants a rematch because he was screwed because of Hennig and Bischoff from Starcade. And they'll have that rematch, and Flair will win with a little bit of an assist from the macho man Randy Savage, of all people. So what a pop. I mean, just I remember that Nitro. Bischoff winning was huge heat and they hated him, but Flair winning the next night at Nitro and getting that pop and Savage getting the surprise return and him beating up the Giants. I mean, that was awesome. It's great stuff. Yeah, it was. It was very good. And you, you would think go- like the, the amount of people that were involved, you think it's Flair Hogan, but it was Flair Bischoff getting this free reaction. That just goes to show you how much heat Eric had. He did a magnificent job. Um, I just still, I just go back to when Flair said, fire me. I'm already fired. Like there's nothing you could do to me. I'm, I'm Teflon, you know, I don't care who you are, Bischoff. Great stuff. Yeah, it was Rick is. That's why he's the goat. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please help me out and like this video. Then click the subscribe and get notifications buttons. So you don't miss any of my latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Facebook at The Hannibal TV for more live streams and videos. And while you're at it, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Hannibal TV.